Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Zach Massage and you are watching Rare Candy TCG. Today we're going to be going over a deck profile video with a playthrough afterwards on PTCGO featuring Granbull. And if you're missing any of the cards available for this deck on PTCGO, this is actually one of the cheapest decks that we have available in our format. So if you're looking for a kind of free to play deck or a deck that you can get with very few codes, this deck's busted. Go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code RAREcandy to save 5% off your order. If you're one of our patrons, you can go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. We've got a special code to save 7.5% on your order there. And if you want to consider becoming one of our patrons, you can go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg and get the special code there. Now, we are not looking at a list from a year ago. We are looking at a list that did well at the Q1 Limitless event. This deck went 7-0 day two and absolutely dominated it. Unfortunately, due to the way that the Limitless event was ran, um, this deck did not make top eight. So I'm sure there's gotta be some kinks working out in that system, but Granbull, I've played around a few games with it. This deck is absolutely busted right now. So you want to get your hand down to zero to do 160 damage. And you might be wondering, how do you do that? Well, you can put whatever card you want on top of your deck with Macargo, and then draw that card with a Rangaroo by swapping mm -hmm. a card from your hand. And you can often leave yourself handless by discarding a card with Quick Ball or anything else or playing a Great Ball and grabbing nothing. So there's a lot of ways to manipulate the amount of cards that you have in your hands. Additionally, you can get cards back because this deck plays Diantha. So if one of your fairy type Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you could put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. So let's say they knocked out a Granbull, we can get back a Granbull and an energy to evolve a Snubble on our bench. Got a Hoopa in here to improve our Malamar matchups. We'll see if that works. Um, whether it's from Diantha to get it back after they knock out a Granbull or if you use Wondrous Lab to your liking, there's ways that you can beat some poor matchups. And we also have the inclusion of two fairy charms in here. Um, the Lightning Fairy Charm to go around Pikaram, which was a very popular deck. Um, it is a popular deck online in general, in real life, all the time. It's Pikaram, come on. And we got uh, Fairy Charm Ability, which it targets a lot more Pokemon than you think. Remember these cards, both of these cards do not work on V Pokemon. They work on GXs and EXs only. So that's what we got going on over here. Okay, so jumping into this game, we got our win streak going on. We're playing against Entry Free 12. What's up? Let's see exactly what's going on here. They're calling the coin flip. Hopefully we get to go first. And we lost the coin flip. That's okay, maybe they'll let us go first. I mean, I guess not, but it's still okay. Here we're going to start Hoopa. Seems like we've I start Hoopa quite a bit when I play this deck. We only play one Hoopa, but that's PTCGO for you. One thing I do want to note is that since Hoopa is not fairy type, um, if I put Wondrous Lab in there, my attacks will cost colorless more, and I will not be able to attack with Evil Admonition. Considering my opponent's going first, I don't want to put the Ditto down. It's possible for them to fee own me um, around there. So let's see what they got. So there's a Zacian. If we're playing against Zacian ADP, it might be a pretty good matchup for us. But Zacian V could be a lot of different things. I mean, looks like it's probably Zacian ADP. But uh, so far, Jirachi and Acrobike don't sell too much either until they grab the ADP. Still, it's just a Dene. We don't know what they're playing. Ah! Okay, this has to be Zacian ADP, I think. Okay, hopefully they don't get an energy. It'd be really nice. Okay, they did get an energy. And maybe they'll miss some energies on Fintrepid Sword. That's fine, too. Ooh, we got double custom catcher, but I don't necessarily think we're going to use it. So in this case, I don't really care that my opponent has any um, abilities in play. I want to get the Wonder Slab down, so in case they forget to that they need an extra energy to use Altered Creation GX. Let's go Marty here and kind of just ruin their hand. And it's also going to allow us to get set up as well. I mean, this is kind of working okay. 
Let's put this Macargo away and grab out a Snubble. And with that Snubble, I could just put on the Ability Charm. So here we're going to pass, big old pass, and see exactly what our opponent can bring it to this turn. So pretty interesting here, pretty interesting game here. Our opponent's also weak to Fairy type, so when we do evolve into Gramble, our all-out attack, which we were trying to hit for 160 damage, can do one, 320 damage, so 160 times two. Sure, they don't want to see that happen here. What are they doing here? Did I Marnie them into the best hand ever? Oh, I guess maybe, maybe. <laughs> It's not looking too bad so far. They have a bunch of these uh, extra consistency crutches. They're going through a bunch of resources, though. I mean, they had a Dedenne GX, too. So they need to find a, st a, a stadium, and they need to find a switch. There's a metal frying pan. Okay, cool. Looks like, uh, let's try the custom catcher for one here. I just, okay, let's just try it again. There's a great ball. Just trying to get some more cards here. Oranguru might be very helpful if we can get him a cargo. Let's go Marnie again. This is a deck again I feel Zacian V might be okay in. Um... I mean, I feel pretty okay with this. So I'm going to do this. Evolve. Switch into Granbull. Um, put a card on top of my deck. I'm just going to grab a Snubble. And I do need to note that we do have only one Snubble left in there. Let's use Primate Wisdom to grab the Snubble, play it down on our bench, and then attach for our turn to put us down at zero cards. So we could swing for 160. Now our opponent has a really interesting, if they don't have a stadium, then they can't get a knockout with um, ultimate ray. And if they don't have an extra energy, then they're not using altered creation. So we're really just prolonging our opponent from using altered creation here. They're also going through an incredible amount of cards in their deck. They're only, they only have 18 cards left. And if they don't, realize what they're doing with the whole art altered creation or if they forget about the fairy weakness or if they go greedy with um <laughs> i mean i guess they're just getting knocked out so there's a pokemon communication um let's just go Macargo, smooth over um this is definitely one of those things where i want to just grab i think Baba might be the hot play, actually. Yeah, I think Baba's actually the hot play here. So putting that on top of the deck, switching that away with Pokemon Communication. Faba's pretty hot because we could hit that escape board off. And let's go all out here for 320 damage to draw three prize cards. Now, considering we have two Snubbles in our prize cards, we're trying to get one. Perfect. So we did get a Snubble there, which will allow us to just continuously chain things. Now, our opponent will need to take three Knockets in this game. I need to take two Knockets in this game. Okay, so they did have another Escape board. So it looks like they will be able to take a Knockout here with this Asian V. How many Switches have they burned through, though? That is their second switch, and they're just going to concede there because they can't do it. Because we have the Wondrous Lab. They just did not think about that. So, another free win for us. Yo, what's up, Cream Cheese 7133 If you're watching this video, be sure to let me know how your game went on in the comments below. So, they're actually letting us go first which is weird but i'll take it because our deck definitely wants to go first um so there's a mulligan not necessarily the happiest with the rangaroo start but it's okay so 
So it looks like we're playing against Picarom. Let's go Great Ball first. Um, Snubble seems like the absolute best option that we have. Let's go Quick Ball, discarding away. Do I want to discard away Rosa or Diantha? I'm going to pitch away the Diantha. I don't necessarily know if that's necessary. Let's go Slugma. Let's go Primate Wisdom, putting Rosa away on top of this deck. Not too much we're going to do with those double custom catchers, so we're just going to pass here, actually. We might be in an okay enough position to make something happen next turn. So my opponent's probably like, yo, what is this deck? Is this an absolute meme? I'm not sure. We'll lose Poke at all. Oh, is this more Peko? I'm so confused right now. This might be more Peko. This is so weird. People are bringing out all the weird decks during this pandemic. It might just be Pikaram with a Lily's Poke doll attack. But I, if you ask me, I think it's more Peko. So, my first thought was Fairy Charm Lightning seems busted. My second thought is more Peko V is not a GX Pokemon. So, we're also a single prize card deck. They might not be able to deal with that particularly well. I mean, we two shot more Pekos. They they don't one shot uh, or I guess they one shot us. We may be able to run them out, especially if they attach an energy. Oh, that's a busted full art more Peko. So let's uh let's let's see exactly how it goes. This deck, um, the Gramble deck, is more more built to do well against these um, more meta based decks. So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna go um, Meg Cargo. Let's go. Double custom catcher, bringing up the more Peko. Let's go Marnie. I don't really like Marnieing our opponent, give him an extra few cards, but I mean, it looks like we are able to turn that into something nice here because we get attach, bench those two, switch. So let's go this smooth over, putting um, a Grand Bull on top of the deck. And we do have to put a card back with a Rangaroo. So let's go Primate Wisdom, putting the Ordinary Rod back on the deck. So there's Granbull, Snubble, Slugma, Energy, all out. Let's go 160. Boom. And our opponent's probably in a rough position because they won't be able to Electro Wheel easily this turn. They need to have Thunder Mountain and they have to have Lightning Energy. If they get it, they get it. But I'd like to bump their Thunder Mountain with a Wondrous Lab, if that's possible. Wondrous Lab really might hurt our opponent. So, we'll see exactly what they have going on. I mean, there's a Thunder Mountain there. Looks like our opponent uh, basically hit everything that they, they could have ever wanted to. There's the energy. They can go Electro Wheel and send up a Lily's Polka Doll, which is busted for them. That's a that's a boost. And they still have a Volpair. Come on, cream cheese. How are how are you getting this busted hands? There's Switch Lightning. They still even have the Tapu Coco. Our opponent's busted. Okay. I mean, so they're ready for next turn. Bet they're probably just gonna send it to Lily's Poke at all too. Okay, you wonder what I feel that? Let's go after it. So we know we were going to top deck that anyways, so let's just go smooth over um, 
feel like this is definitely a turn that I'd like to go Marnie because my opponent has such a big hand. And I think we could probably manipulate something with Marnie as well. I mean, even if we don't, we only need to get an energy and a Granbull, which I think is highly possible. So let's do this. Um, let's go Ordinary Rod, do both. Let's get back one, two, and a three. Let's do that, let's do that, and let's go Custom Catcher to draw three cards. Um, I don't necessarily want to go make a mess, but like, I also don't see any reason why not to. So let's go make a mess. There's 40 damage. Using all of our available outs. And we could pitch away a lot of cards with a deck like this because we can get things back with Diantha. So we can get back a lot of cards with a deck like this. Shrine doesn't necessarily matter. It's really just to slow down our opponent's use of Thunder Map and Prism Star, which is in their Lost Zone. They can't ever use it again. Okay, so they have a Forest as well. Maybe maybe we'll be able to lock out their, um, their Viridian Forest for the rest of the game after this, which would be super awesome by getting a Wondrous Lab. So we'll see exactly what we could do with Cynthia this turn. Or next turn, I guess I should say. Our next turn that we're playing. So our opponent's drawn one prize card. We've drawn zero, but they're also, they've gone through their Thunder Mountain Prism Star. They've now used their Tapu Koko Prism Star. We'll see what they can do. It's hard to play against a one prize card deck for sure. They're just getting the knockout with the Zapdos, huh? Okay, well, we're going to send up Ditto here. And, I mean, there's the Macargo, so we have the Viridian Forest to get an energy if we really need to. Um... There's a Granbull. If I really need to, I will. Um, let's go smooth over. Let's put... I think I'm going to have to. Um, Primate Wisdom. Let's grab... I should have grabbed a Quick Ball, which would have been a lot better. Let's just put Fob on top of our deck. Oh, I also could have used Viridian Forest. I'm literally, literally, literally not playing well right now. Rosa seems like a really good choice. I mean, there's still no reason to not take a knockout on a Dedenne GX. It's just the Zapdos was there. I mean, maybe that was a better play. We did knock out and draw two prize cards to even up the prize trade. So we'll see exactly what our opponent does. I'd really like to get Wondrous Lab out in this matchup. Just to slow down my opponent after maybe they use Electro Wheel again. There's the Clefairy doll. The Clefairy doll is really going to hurt us here. Some more Peko. And we have our one, two, three, four prize cards in play. I mean, I guess we could also knock out more Peko V. 
Um, a Vitality Band in this deck would be hot for um, V Pokemon in general. I don't know how many have 170 HP. That would make sense if we were to add a card into the deck, but... Okay, so we could also go Snubble here. And there's our Rosa. So before we do anything, let's go Rosa. I want Snubble for sure. Uh, I want Grandal here. Wonders Lab and an Energy. Since we only need one Energy, let's just go Smooth Over, grabbing another Snubble. Um, let's go Primate Wisdom, putting this back on top of the deck. So we can go Snubble, Granbull, Energy, Wondrous Lab that we can go through since we're Fairy type, Palpad, getting back um, Rosa and Diantha because we have enough Marty in the deck. And we can go Smooth Over. And we could put Rosa on top of the deck. Just so we're all ready. And let's go all out. Hopefully our opponent does not have a way around the Wondrous Lab. But we'll see. They might they might play a few more stadiums. I'm not entirely sure what a deck like this plays because Morpeko has been a little bit out of the metagame for a while. There's an Electro Power. I wonder, um, it might be a Custom Catcher turn. Maybe they'll play two Electro Powers. Oh no! Stop! <laughs> Honestly, I, I think I'm still okay with that. Rosa, Energy, um, in terms of trainers, I'm probably fine with a Great Ball, and then I'm just going to go Smooth Over, putting a Slugma, or a, not a Slugma, a Snubble on top of my deck, Primate was being back into a Great Ball, doing that doing that doing that and let's go smooth over at this point i don't really see i'm just gonna put fob on top of the deck in case they have a recycle energy because they've gone through a fair amount of energies there's two four they have two in play a deck like this can't play too many energies they only have 22 cards left in their deck they're probably running out of resources i mean getting the gramble there is kind of cute So a lot of the balances with all out, it's it's a tough one to play for sure. And seeing what they get off Stellar, which is going to be the interesting part. An Electro Power. Maybe they'll just go in with a spark and try to do some damage there. That might be interesting. Ah, so they do have the recycle energy. So we could set them back a turn with the Faba and take a knockout with the Lily's Poke at all. So I made the next level big brain play. So here the 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 primate wisdom's likely not going to matter. Let's just go um that. Let's go smooth over. Getting back a Diantha. Putting Diantha on top of the deck. And then going Faba on the recycle energy. So that's gone. And then going all out here. Again, not a prize card. This is the second least Poke at all we've knocked out. Be really nice to knock out some other things. And I put the Diantha on top of the deck so I can get back double custom catchers to knock out one of these in case they feed me like a Jirachi. Absol might also be really cool in this deck.
there's a Marnie. I mean, I'm okay with a Marnie, to be honest. I know I'm getting Diantha, at least, for one of the cards. And I can manipulate a decent bit of the deck. So here I could actually manipulate every single card in the hand. Hopefully our opponent does not get an energy. Oh, there's an Ordinary Rod. Okay, and probably getting back two Lightning Energies, that's what I thought. Hopefully our opponent just retreats into the Lily's Pokedol and passes. Because this gives us our best chance to win the game. Um, so just to make sure, I'm going to go Pokemon Communication, putting back Hoopa. And at this point, I'm going to grab a second Guru. Um, Fionn would be fairly hot here. So let's go um, smooth over for a lightning energy or for a psychic or a fairy energy geez let's go primate wisdom putting quick ball there let's go um, I gotta put a card that I could play. So let's go smooth over for a great ball. Primate Wisdom, the Diantha on top of the deck. Attaching an energy there. There's a great ball. I mean, I can probably hold on to this out of the deck anyways. Um, because we don't actually need to get the full knockout. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. We have the all out for 30 damage right there. Um, and this might actually be where we're, we're able to win the game. Um, looking at our opponent's prizes or discard pile, that's their fourth Lily's Pokedol. They've played two Electro Powers, so reasonably they have to get a Zapdos, Lightning, Lightning. Zapdos, Lightning, Lightning, Electro Power, Electro Power in order to attack this turn. Um, and we should be able to knock out that more Peko V um, with a double custom catcher off of a Diancy. So, things are looking good. We might be able to steal this game from our opponent. I know I've made a couple mistakes along the way, but it's seeming it's seeming like it's okay. I don't know what our opponent's doing off switch. Maybe they'll just send up a more Peko or an Absol. Or there's their Absol. There's their sacrificial prize card. awesome so here we could just go um, smooth over for a quick ball let's go primate wisdom putting diantha on top of the deck quick ball away the slugma Let's uh, grab nothing. Great ball, nothing. And let's go smooth over and putting the Diantha on top of our deck so we can get those double custom catchers to win the game. All out for the knockout. So, I mean, we're doing a pretty good job of balancing our prize cards, and our opponents seems like they're struggling here a little bit. Their early game um, unstoppableness is kind of catching up to them now. Ah, Volkner. Volkner might be the way that they can get around this. Don't entirely know what's in their four, seven card hand, but we'll find out. What are they going to grab? I know Lightning Energy seems... Like definitely one of the choices. I'm not trying to sound stupid here, but I'm 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 really trying to think of what are their other cards that they can grab. What does a deck like this play? Maybe they'll grab a switch. Okay, there's an electro power. I mean We're just them taking a knockout on a Grand Bolt away from winning this game. I don't know how many Pokemon catchers they play as well. That's one way to look at it. I'm actually fine even if they bump the stadium. 
Heartbreak. Heartbreak back. Um, let's go smooth over for a quick ball. Let's primate wisdom this so I can get the quick ball. Quick ball, pitch away the guru. Four, um, nothing. Smooth over again for the Diantha. And the only cards I have left are Pokemon Communication, Great Ball to manipulate my deck. I mean, I guess I have Fairy Charm that I can attach, so that's cool. I can use that too. And let's go all out here. 160. We're down to two prize cards. Our opponent's down to two prize cards. Got double more Peko Vs, full, like, damaged here. Like, I really don't know what our opponent can do to win this game. The Wondrous Lab trapping them was super sick, like, called for me in general. I mean, are they going to switch into Jirachi? Use Stellar Wish. That's, that's something that they could definitely do. There's an Electro Power. What? Oh, they might be forgetting about Wondrous Lab. I mean, that's enough playable cards that I'm fine with. Oh, shoot! But I think that a Diantha wins us the game, right? Our opponent hit the nuts. I'm going to give them the Heartbreak. Make them think... Oh, if they get around with the Diantha... Please, please, please don't use Pokemon Catcher. Please don't use Pokemon Catcher. Please don't use Pokemon Catcher. Okay, and let's go for all out here because we only need to do 10 damage to win the game. We got it. That was a crazy, crazy, crazy game. I didn't think we were going to get there. So there we have it. We kind of proved in this video that Granbull is still able to abuse all out in this format, winning all the games that we played today. This is definitely a sleeper pick and shout outs to anyone involved in the creation of bringing this deck back i love that during this pandemic there's a lot of creativity spurring and then we're all just not moping around so if you like this type of content like granbull like anything rare candy be sure to like share and subscribe to our channel we really appreciate the support we also have our patreon you can go to patreon.com slash rare candy tcg become a patron there we got a lot of goodies there you can also pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com and as for me, what up? I'm Zach Lesage. You can follow me on Twitter at ZLesage Pokemon. I got a bunch of cool stuff over there that you'll want to check out. That's what we got going on for this video today. Be sure to stay tuned and check out more on the Rare Candy YouTube channel while you're around here. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a good one.